We know credit rating agencies can provide a great service to the economy by bridging information gaps between investors and firms. So there are a lot of good things that they can bring. But there may be some drawbacks to this sort of setup, particularly if firms are focusing too much on what the credit rating agencies think and what are the best uh, outcomes for the firm in the long run. And so my thinking was, what are the possible dimensions that firms could be potentially taking distortive behavior or distortive actions uh, in the short run that may have long-term consequences for the firm? What we find is that indeed managers are sacrificing some of these long-term goals like investing in R&D, investing in human capital of the firm. They're sacrificing some of these things in order to accomplish short-term goals, namely targeting certain ratios that credit rating agencies are emphasizing. So ex ante, while it's not obvious whether these cuts in R&D could be a good thing or a bad thing, uh, the data come out uh, very strongly in favor of the fact that these do actually destroy value in the long term. So in studying these effects, I focused on some firms that were particularly close to certain credit rating uh, ratio boundaries. And if you're very close to one of these boundaries, you have very strong incentives to take action to get sorted into the good bucket, to, to cross that threshold and, and, and maybe look more favorable to the credit rating agencies. And when I focus on those firms, it seems like the effects of cutting R&D uh, were even further amplified uh, within those firms. There are multiple audiences that I think should be very uh, well aware of results such as this. The first could be boards of directors. You know, so if they think that they're only also going to be looking at uh, financial targets and not taking a careful look of what is the content of the R&D that the managers are cutting, they need to be aware that the managers are going to be given incentives to take some of these short-term actions at the expense of the long-term value of the firm. Another group of folks that should be uh, keen to look at this is regulators. In light of the financial crisis, there's been a large outcry from uh, new regulations, for example, in Dodd-Frank that say rating agencies need to be more clear about what makes a specific rating. And I think my research shows that drawing more bright lines in the sand of what rating agencies are going to be calling for and in turn what firms are going to be responding to uh, could potentially have long-term implications uh, because of the distorted behavior that it causes. Certainly shareholders should be concerned about this and you know their main avenue that they can go through this is through the board of directors. It's just that difficulty that you face with this soft nature of the information about the uh, quality of the research that makes this governance problem one a particularly difficult one. One way that this problem may be able to be helped to be solved is through the compensation package. And one of my colleagues here at LBS, Alex Edmond, has done a lot of research focusing on the vesting of the manager. So if the manager's uh, pay is not going to be a contingent on necessarily just today's performance, but on performance next year, the year after that, and the year following, then this may properly incentivize the manager to internalize these costs and think more about the long run.